<laughs> so we were talking about the tiles when uh, it cut out and uh, my storage was full so this is going to be part two so these are the tiles i was talking about they're just um, drainage tiles uh, and then you put them all together they make a mat you can stand on them and then we've uh, cut bigger holes yeah because uh, they were to... small they were too small and the pink one fell through yeah so we like cut it out and now it's all like perfect with the help of Isaac. It's working out perfectly. All yeah. of them have it except for one floor. So oh. this is going to go on that one floor. We're going to give them some treats for now. And they are going to freak out. Yeah, my mom is the expert at this. So we have these like wooden things. I think you're supposed to like like put a picture on this. But when you turn it upside down, it's a perfect like platform. And we have dried up worms, mealworms. The Show them how excited they are. Love, look how they're freaking out. They know okay, they're getting it, so they're freaking out. See, look, sometimes they even jump out. Now go. Go, 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 oh go, go. Go, go, go. Look at everyone. They're crazy. Sometimes they will even jump on each other. They always, actually. They'll just jump on each other. Just to, like, get, like... Oh, look. I'm jumping. I'm jumping. There's a bunch. This is, how amount, this is around the amount we put. See, look how they're freaking out. Crazy. These two and these two are really lucky because they have a whole plate for themselves. These three have to kind of squeeze themselves in there. Oh, don't jump out. Oh, Rose Rossi, can he go on it? No, but uh, I give him a little bit when I put a little bit in his food and then he he grabs it. Oh, look, he's already in his food. Oh, that's so cute. He's eating his worms. Hey, how cute is that? I've never actually, I don't really pay attention to Rose Rossi that much. And then Picasso is a little bit uh, aggressive. Bite. I put some in here too. Picasso's my angel. I don't really put it in his food. What um, mom says, he is so cute. He's a little, instead of white, he's gray, basically. <laughs> but let me tell you, mealworms make their poop smell disgusting. Yeah. And it's so liquidy. It's like a big chocolate diarrhea brown. Basically, it makes them get diarrhea. And it smells awful, and it looks awful. These three at like will jump over each other to get it. So this is uh, something we do at dinner time. After they eat their mealworm, they're gonna be pretty much napping. They're, they, get, they go down for the night after that. And uh, other than uh, the bags, I have more bags coming for the sandboxes. Um, these gray things are the sandboxes. Yeah, same. Um, I'm, I've got uh, more ther thermal bags coming for that, and um, we're gonna cover the the whole cage with a tarp thermal material, and we're gonna roll it into the garage so it's gonna have no wind. I'm gonna wait for the temperatures to go down to closer to zero, and then we're gonna take the cage into the garage, and I'm gonna continue taking care of them. Uh, in there. Now the quails will have a rest period for the winter where they don't lay as many eggs and um, it's uh, they regenerate in that period of time. They, uh, they need that little break or else they don't live as long. You know? I'm so excited to put them in, in the garage because I, this is my opinion, mom does, so does, disagrees with me, but I always look at them and they're always just shivering in a corner and I don't like it. I feel like if they go in the garage at least they'll be a little warmer, which I'm really excited about because I'm assuming where they're going to go in the garage and they're going to be absolutely warm. But another thing that's really cool is like if they're cool they'll just like all go huddle into a little ball and it'll be so cute. Yeah, they huddle together. The only problem is that the bottom we have one that's all by himself. Uh, he's got no one to huddle with. I'll huddle uh, with him. So what we did is we ordered a microwavable uh, bag. It's a gel bag and it's a comfy little bag he can cuddle with. And we're gonna... Hi baby. 
put it in the microwave every night and just give it to him so he can spend the night with that warm bag. Um, I'm hoping as he ages that he calms down a little, but for now he's very aggressive. Um, usually we open the door, he jumps out at us and starts biting. It doesn't hurt, but it's not, just it's just his me. bad attitude right now. Sometimes I'll wish he'll jump out. He never jumps out. He never sees me. So when they're done, we just remove the trays. Hi, baby. You can close the door, Melina. And remove the old veggies. There. There's no eggs in there, Melina? No. Well, obviously because it's boy, I don't think there'll be any eggs in there. Watch your head. Ah! Let's remove this one. Hi, baby. I know. Remove Hi, this baby. one. No, no, no. He's like, no. Take me with you. And so we just have the one. Oh, that's okay. Ross that had a stroke. He uh, move your hand so we can see him. I yeah, know. there he is. Don't open the door yet. Like, wait till he moves. Uh, he leans on the cage a lot so he can uh, walk. He's kind of paralyzed on one side, so he has to lean on something. But other than that, he's been sick like this for months. Uh, since June, I think, and he's still uh, with us. So that's just the way he's gonna live his life, I think. Oh, sad news for everyone. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed yet, but we had three quails here, but one died. So Snookums died. We will all, always cherish her beautiful squawking. She was yeah, very cute. Yeah, Snookums was our only tuxedo quail, brown and uh, white. Uh, he looked like a little penguin. It was my only one. Um, so that's another reason we changed the flooring in the cage because he came out of his sandbox. I think he broke his leg or hurt his leg. And uh, we took him in the house immediately. He was limping and he died of shock like within hours. And he uh, wasn't so in their cage. He was in their cage, but after like we switched up their cage. He was on the metal bottom cage. Now with the rubber bottom, uh, it's going to be much, much, much better. Um, you could tell when they're walking that they're, they're way more comfortable on here. Um, Danny thinks I should start a business and sell them, but <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't think anybody cares as much as we do and wouldn't go through the trouble, right, Marina? Yeah. Also, another thing is that right before he died, uh, Snookums died, he left a beautiful big feather for us. But now, like, whenever, like, because I have, like, a messy room, whenever I'll, like, go in my room, I'll just, like, see that feather, and then I'll just, like, start crying. I'll be like, oh, no, Snookums, no. Yeah, we all miss him. Yeah. Her, sorry, her. Only boys or three? That's one right. One here, one here, one here. Do you want to do a quick intro of the quills before we say goodnight? Okay, these three, we don't really know because they kind of look all, they kind of look the same. But I've got a feeling the one in the back is Newbie, this is Olive, and this is probably Bubba. I'm just guessing, but those are the three names. The one with the brown head is Poseidon, that's one of our boys. We have three boys. And there's one hiding behind the sandbox, and her name's Alin. Hi, Alin. We're French, so we named her French. Because we have a. Um, Someone named Dunin, and it, when it was her birthday, she was born. These two are Robin and Lucy. So I don't know if you guys can tell. You guys can pause the video and see. But one has a, a brown nose, and one has a beautiful snow white nose. 